All right, so Microsoft, again, once again, has decided to add a new feature to the Xbox that is a great home theater feature and really makes no mention of it. They didn't make much mention of the Windows Media Center, which in my opinion was one of the best pieces of software they've ever made. Uh, and not a lot of people used it and they eventually phased it out and now we're left with you know, open source third party solutions uh, for home theaters um, and home theater PCs. So they released a, a minor update this week that accompanied the March update and um, a lot of people might not know about this and that's why I'm putting this video together uh, because I think this turns the Xbox One and the Xbox One S into probably the best uh, HDR or 4K Blu-ray player on the market. Uh, but enabling this feature is kind of buried and it's not as intuitive as I would think or as you would think it is. So um, right now what I'm here, I'm at my home screen. I go into my settings or down here if they're not right off of there, all settings. Now originally I thought this would be in the audio output, but it isn't. Um, but if you have a 7.1 surround receiver, this is how you're going to want to set it up. 7.1 HDMI audio, 7.1 uh, uncompressed. Really the optical audio um, and the bitstream format don't really matter as far as this is concerned. Now you'll notice that there's no bitstreaming option there for uh, HDMI. Well, they kind of put it under the Blu-ray disc and it's just this one little checkbox here. Let my receiver decode audio. This makes all the difference. Now, it will actually bitstream um, Dolby Atmos, uh, DTS HDMA, and uh, Dolby Digital uh, 2HD. So all of the current formats, Xbox One S and Xbox One will now bitstream to your receiver to decode. And in my opinion, I think it's a far superior, gives you far superior sound as far as the 3D spatial awareness and uh, clarity. So. Um, I highly recommend uh, doing this. Uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions, uh, let me know.